about this. It's uh, Steel Ring, The Legend of Steel Ring. It's not in MBS Studios. The first issue. Publishing online. So this is our this is our first this is our first printed printed edition. Debuted here at the show. That's why there's a limit this is a limited edition special special limited edition. So you're gonna be continuing to do your uh, oh, web web stuff. Always. Yeah. You're gonna be doing any more prints? Uh, as, just... Yeah. Well, as soon, basically, as soon as the comic is finished, uh, this this is the idea. As soon as the comic yeah. is finished, we we color it, we ink it, and uh, basically then we then we produce it and actually have it uh, have it out for the for the next show. We cooperate with other studios like these guys here, Alpha Cosmic Studios, and they have their own they have their own uh, comic, Long May, the uh, Dragon Current. This is the artist here. His name is Hugh Robin. Surfers TV. How you doing, guys? Good. What are, you, what are you working on there? Oh, I'm finishing a piece for a guy. He wanted a Thanos and Silver Surfer piece. I'm just doing a quick sketch for him here and I'm doing something just the two of them battling, more or less. The print comics right now. Um, this is our first of, in our series. It's called Look by the Dragon Print. It's a sci fi martial arts fantasy, it's a 40 pager. And um, this is the format that we wanted to print the book in because we wanted to have something a little bit more, what could I say, shelf worthy. <laughs> no complaints, everything's been very positive. We're really excited for, uh, for their success. Hi Dave, this is William from Avatar Press. I've loved your work for a long, long time. Don Davis, which is one of those creative geniuses. Hey, you're in a comic con right now. Do you ever feel as a wrestler that uh, wrestlers are a bit like comic book uh... characters? You, Vince portrayed them. When he turned, when Vince Jr. took over from Vince Senior, they had a television show, and, and and all the guys were characters. You know, he had a, every Saturday morning there was a one hour to, uh, 30, 30 minute comic show. And I, Bushwhackers are very uh, comic characters. These guys I call them the marching morons. Awesome. Do you ever used to read comic books yourself? Yes, of course. What were some of your faves? Ah, oh, boy. You could, yeah, you take me back many moons, mate. Ah, no, I remember when, when I was young in New Zealand, the Phantom. You know, the, 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 the Ghost of Walks. I remember that. Now the, we didn't have all the comics like they had in the state. We had, of course, there was all the. There's always the Donald Duck and the Mickey Mouse. Tell me about your comic books. Uh, well, I've done work for Devil's Due, DC, a couple other smaller companies. DC being the biggest company, and I've got a self-published book now. It's actually been out for a while. I'm just selling it independently, so it's a slow process. <laughs> what are these here? Hack slash. That stuff I did with Devil's Due Publishing. Uh, that I was the inker on.